Ouch, my ears. Welcome back to Deep Make Studios. My name is Steven Ole, and today we are working on some muzzle flashes. This has some smoke and some light reflection on my body, but today we are just focusing on the muzzle flash itself. This is how you create it from scratch in After Effects. First, you come up to Layer. You're gonna create a solid. You're gonna click OK. And then you're gonna come up to Effect, and you're gonna come down to Noise and Grain. And you're gonna grab Fractal Noise. Now this is gonna give you this kind of texture and this is all we need to create our muzzle flash. I'm gonna bring the contrast up to a thousand. I'm bring the brightness down, let's say, a negative 76, just give a little more contrast so we could find a, these shapes are what we're looking for. So you're gonna find a shape you want to be your muzzle flash. Then you're gonna come over here and you're just gonna move it to the left so that when I scale this up, it'll hopefully be in the center. But essentially you wanna scale up, you wanna find a, a shape you like and scale it up to get a good decent size, the size you need or bigger to start with. Uh, you're gonna center that up. And then you're gonna change the complexity to 12. This is just gonna give us more defined edges, a little bit of sharpness. Now you're gonna come up here, you're gonna grab your pen tool, and then you're just gonna crudely kind of cut this out. Uh, cut a nice shape around it with the pen tool. And you're gonna end up with it here. I'm just gonna take off this bottom a little bit here. Okay, now you're gonna come down here. And first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna come to your mask and you're gonna hit F on the keyboard and you're gonna get mask feather. And you're just gonna feather this up to here. I'm like. Let's say, I don't know, just feather it a little bit, 45 seems good. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click, come to blending mode, and you're gonna change it to add. This will take away the black. So now you have this white cutout cloud shape. This is the start of your muzzle flash. Now I'm just gonna move my anchor point to the gun point or to the end, so when I scale it up, it scales from the back. And then I'm just gonna get my rotation tool and I'm just gonna rotate a little bit on an angle. Now I'm gonna come to effects and I'm gonna add a radio blur to this as well. And you'll see it already distorted a little bit, but now I'm gonna move that anchor point to the back as well. So the blur is starting back there and I'm gonna change the type to zoom. You already see this gives it a nice kind of blurry kind of effect, feels more real. Now you're gonna come to effects and presets. You're gonna type in CC toner. And now this is gonna allow you to change the color. You're gonna come to your highlights and you're gonna make this kind of like a pale yellow. So it's kind of like, you know, the outside of the muzzle flash. And it helps to have some references to look at much better than just kind of winging it. And then you come to your midtones and you're gonna make this like a fiery kind of red for your muzzle flash in your midtone. Yeah, a little bit fiery red orange. That looks good. Yeah. All right, so now you already see it's looking pretty good. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna come, we're gonna type in glow. You're gonna grab that from your effects and presets. You're gonna drag that onto your layer. And then first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna bring up your glow radius. You already see it's glowing nicely. It's really giving it like a fire explosion feel. Then you're gonna grab your glow threshold and just kind of play with that a little bit. Bring that down and then I'm gonna bring the glow intensity down just a little bit so it's not so intense. That's looking nice. This edge here, you know, kind of frays in like a real muzzle flare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna come, we're just gonna grab our box mask and we're gonna create a mask around that edge there. And then I'm gonna come and change my blend mode to subtract. I'm gonna move that a little bit over Yeah, that seems nice. And then I'm gonna come and I'm just gonna come to my mask feather and feather that in so it doesn't, so it kind of blends in nicely. It doesn't fall off so hard. Yeah, it looks kind of more natural. And then you're gonna to wanna to come, you're gonna to wanna to make that that layer one frame only. There you go. I'm gonna hit S on my mask and I'm gonna scale this layer down entirely so it fits and move it so it, it's an appropriate spot. It almost stayed with my anchor point but I had to move it a little bit. You already have your basic muzzle flare created on your own in After Effects. Next tutorial, I'm gonna add some smoke and some light reflection on my body and the environment, which looks something like this. All right, check it out next time. Like, comment, and subscribe. I'll see you soon.